name? What's your name, bro? Harold. Harold, come a little closer, bro. You you watched that? You looked at that sign right there, right? Where you see yourself at on that sign? Huh? Tribe of Judah, right? Have you ever been taught that in the school? Have you ever heard that before? Did your father teach you that? Your mother teach you that? Right? They never taught you that, right? You went to church before, haven't you? You went to the Christian church? What was the name of the church you went to? Baptist church? Right? Let me give you something that the Baptist church should have taught you, right? Let me give you a rule because you are a child of God, right? You are from the nation of Israel, from the tribe of Judah. There's rules that God gave us as his children. Let me read a rule and see if you can keep this. Because the church told you what? You, the laws are done away with. But the laws aren't done away with. Right. The laws are not hard to do. They're actually easy and they are life. It's what gives us life. It what makes us the greatest people on God's earth. That he had given us, the children of, the children of Israel. That's read right. that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Uh, chapter 3. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Let's, let's deal with this rule that God has given us and see if you can stop this. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Now ye know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So don't you know that you are the temple of God? Your body is the temple of God. Why? Because you are God's chosen son. So God made a temple, which is his son. So know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Now listen up, this is real, you really need to listen to this. Because a lot of our people suffer from this. And we're out here to bring the medicine today. Read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of God dwells in you as being his son. So these words, they're now going to dwell in you to help you fight whatever it is that's tormenting you. Read on. If any man defileth the temple of God. So there's many ways that defiles the temple of God. Some of the ways is what? Eating pork? Because we're not supposed to eat pork. God gave us a, a dietary law. Right. You're not supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to eat shrimp, lobster, catfish. He gave us things that we should eat to help our body to be nourished so we could be strong on this earth. So we could do his will. Another way you could define your body is smoking cigarettes. What is that in your ear? Drinking alcohol excessively. Drinking alcohol excessively will defile your temple. You understand that? Right. So that cigarette right there will defile your temple. Right? So let me show you what God said not to defile your temple on why he said you shouldn't do that. So listen up, okay, bro? Him shall God destroy. So if you defile your temple, God will destroy you. There's many ways that he could destroy you. He could give you cancer. You could be walking across the street and a bus will hit you. A bullet could come out of nowhere and hit you in the head. There's many ways God could destroy you. Why? Because you're destroying his temple. Teach. You're no good for him. He wants to use you to wake up the brothers and sisters that are lost. We on the west side of Chicago. There's a lot of drug selling going on right now. Right down the street. Brothers are selling heroin to their brothers and sisters. Killing each other. Brothers are selling loose squares. Killing each other. Brothers and sisters is indulging into prostitution. Killing each other. God said don't do that. You are his greatest creation on earth. You are the standard that everybody's supposed to be looking up to. But how do we get so low? How do we get so low? How do we get there? Read on. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? So our temple is holy. That means that we're not supposed to defile it. That means we're supposed to keep God's laws, right? To get our minds cleaned up, to get our bodies cleaned up. Teach. You understand that? So. You know you're a children of, child of Israel now, right? What's your name again, bro? Harold. My name is Hosea. It's a pleasure speaking with you. And you got look, a hole in your throat from smoking cigarettes. You understand that? And you, you understand that? But you don't understand that God made you to be a God on the earth. Give me that in right. Psalms. God made you to be a God on the earth. But because of our disobedience, now we done came very low. We done got to the point where even though the cigarettes is destroying us and we see it physically, visually in our bodies, we still smoke it. Why? Because sin has corrupted our thought process, corrupted our mind. Right. There's a lot of things that corrupt our mind. We're not supposed to allow things to get into our mind to corrupt us like that. 
But here's a way that you can, re, you can retrain your thought process so now you can abstain from sin. And here's one of them right here. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Read it out. I have said, ye are God. You hear that? The Most High God said the children of Israel, the men, we are gods. That's right. We are gods. Gods are not supposed to defile their temple. We just read that. Gods are not supposed to defile their temple because if you do, God's going to destroy you. We are, the, we are the pinnacle beings on this earth. The children of Israel are. The tribe of Judah, the head tribe. That's the tribe that Christ came from. Right. That's the tribe you're from. So you have a great example, big shoes to fill. Because Christ left you an example. Christ didn't defile his temple. He was a God on the earth. So you have to follow that same example, Harold. Look, look at us. We did it. A lot of us were suffering from smoking cigarettes, but we kicked the habit. Why? Because we meditated on this right here. Read it again. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. So the so-called black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, and the Native American man and Native American woman, they are the children of God. That's right. You understand that? We are the children of God. That makes the men gods on the earth. But we fail. Read on. But ye shall die like men. See that? We dying like men. We supposed to live forever, immortal. But we disobey God. So now all of these atrocities that came to us. Do you believe in this Bible? Do you believe that this Bible is your book? This is a history book that has your laws in it. You understand that? You are supposed to keep this. Give me 1 John 2. 1 John 2. Read verse 1. 1 John 2 and 1. So look, I'm going to give you something to meditate on, brother. You got a flyer, right? All right? I want you to give us a call later on, too. 1 John 2 and 1. Read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 1. My little children, these things write I unto you. So remember I said that this Bible is our book. This is our history book, full of laws that we're supposed to keep. God wrote this for his children. You understand that? So listen up. That ye sin not. You sin not, meaning don't disobey your daddy. When your daddy say, look, do something, do it. That ye sin not. Read it again. On the top. My little children, these things write I unto you. That ye sin not. That ye sin not. Read on. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. So now, brother, now that you understand that you're coming into the knowledge that you are a child of God, right? Now God gave us a way. He gave us his son, right? So if we do slip and fall, look, we have Christ as our advocate. Right. But you have to come to him. You understand that? And guess what? That's what you're doing right now. The Most High God brought you here because he knew that we was going to be here. So this is my divine thing that's going on right now. Teach. Read it again. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. The righteous! Jesus Christ kept all these laws. He was tempted just like we was tempted. You understand that? He is the example. We follow that example. Now we're an example for you. You understand? So if we can stop smoking cigarettes, guess what, my brother? So can you, Harold. You can stop smoking cigarettes. That's right. You understand? Bring it out. You can get your mind right, get your body right, so God can use you as a vessel of righteousness so you can be an example to help these other brothers stop smoking cigarettes, stop doing drugs, stop gangbanging, stop killing. They're like, man, remember Harold? Man, Harold used to be right here with the, with the thing in his throat. Fifty years of doing that, right? That's a long time, but God could change all of that. That's Read right. verse three. Listen up. Verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So you now have to keep God's commandments. That's how you're gonna know that you have that what? That relationship with God. You have to what? Keep his commandments. Right? He was that example for you. 
Now you keep the commandments. Now the whole world is starting to see, you know what, man? This word, it actually heals. Exactly. He's going to use you as a as an example. You understand that? Give me uh Daniel, give me Daniel 9 and 11. Let me show you something that happened to us. Let me show you something that God had did to us, right? Because we have to keep God's laws. Otherwise, we're going to keep being destroyed out here. It's not just about you, bro. It's about your nation of people. You understand that? You have to be an example to them. You have to let them know, look, man, if we keep going down this road of sin, we're going to be destroyed. Read that. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have trans the law. So all Israel has broken the law. All 12 tribes from across the globe, we have all broken God's law. You understand that? That's why little babies getting shot. They'll be riding in the back seat with their parent. Next to you know, a bullet will come through the window and shoot them in the head. That's why, because all Israel has transgressed. Read on. Read on. Even by departing that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. For us disobeying God, departing from hearing his voice, hearing these laws, this word, this Bible, this history book that is full of our laws, we departed from till now the curse is poured upon us. Let me give you and show you some of these curses. Look down. You see these images? This, these are images of slavery. These are images of colonization. Let me show you that this was written in the Bible, right? Read that. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28. Let's start at verse 46. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Because the, the Most High God gave us a way out of sin. He gave us a way to get back close to him so we could rule this earth. So read on. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And if they shall be, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these laws... These curses were going to be upon us for a sign, right? You said your nationality is what? African American, right? That is a curse. It is a curse to say that you're an African American. God called you an Israelite. Right. So that's how we was going to know that we are the children of Israel because what? These curses were going to be a sign unto us. For the fact that you just said that you're an African American makes this Bible true. You used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.